everyone, welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. But today we are going to do another makeup look inspired by a flower and we are going to do this wonderful Dahlia flower. Now there are many different sh shapes or c shades, colors of this flower but I kind of like this purple white one and I'm going to try to create this today and for that I'm going to use this Violet Voss Ride or Die palette because it has a lot of shades that I'm going to need for this look. Now, this is going to be the last look inspired by a flower that I will do in this series. It's just because, well, I have so many other videos I want to do, and I'm going to take a break from uh, these kind of looks inspired by a flower, but definitely it's not going to be my last, last one. Of course, I'm going to start again soon but right now I feel like I really need to do those videos that I really want and waiting wait for I um, can't really film all days five days in a week because I work full-time and I have to take care of my children a lot of other stuff so that's why I'm going to do a break if you want to see how I create this look there it is uh, please stay, keep on watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It's almost 9 o'clock at night, and I'm kind of tired, and I had this makeup on for whole day, so I'm uh, going to remove my make eye makeup, and uh, keep my foundation and everything that I already have, because we are going to create the look for the eyes nothing else, so please don't mind, it could kind of look very shiny and cakey maybe, but we are here for the eye makeup look, so please keep on watching. My face makeup looks like a disaster. I'm very cakey under my eyes and I'm tired and I think I'm getting a cold or something, but I really want to do this makeup look. I was uh, waiting for this the whole day, so uh, I'm kind of excited. So let's see, we're going to use some purples and white. I think I'm going to start using purple or try to create this purple. I don't know. So whenever I try to find another palette that I have with kind of uh, really bright shades, eyeshadows, I always go back to this one. But I also have this BH Cosmetics Sixth Edition. I think I'm going to tr try this purple one too. I kind of swatch them on my hand, and for some reason. And this one worked better, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's just use eyeshadow primer. I know I'm going to take this makeup off as soon as I start stop filming, but I need my primer. I'm kind of primer addicted. I need my primers. I don't want this eyeshadow to start creasing before <laughs> I uh, finish the look, so let's just prime that eyes and we're going to use this pure by no more crease or something like that I don't know what it's called it's crease crease no more or something like that and we are going to use this Violet Frost Ride or Die palette and I'm going to use this April shade this second one and this here all over my eyelids And then I'm going to use Erica in my crease. And this Erica eyeshadow is all the same as my skin. I just want to, I don't know, put it on my crease. Makes eyeshadows blend easier. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is going to take this first Michelle eyeshadow and put it on my eyebrows now I'm going to go into this NYX palette the bright purple one kind of try to mix these two shades in my crease let's take the light one first I kind of forgot to do this before, but I'm going to take some tape and uh, put that here so I can create a sharp line. 
later. Let's take that deep purple and take that just right in my crease. Try to blend that. And I'm just taking this lighter purple again and blending everything. And now I'm going to take this ashy purple kind of all over my eyelid. And then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and take that first purple here just a little bit and blend a little bit above here and I'm going to take Violet Boss Brighted Eye Palette and take the first Michelle shade and kind of blend here So I'm sorry I forgot to film, I'm uh, kind of creating a white eyeliner with this Isadora eyeliner pen. And I'm going to put this on, on my waterline. I don't know if you can see anything, but we are going to take some white eyeshadow and try to put all over the eyeliner just to make it more intense. I don't have a liquid eyeliner, white. I tried to find it to buy somewhere but I couldn't. So we're going to try to fix that with an eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this white eyeshadow from Violet Voss palette, Michelle, down here and put that all over the eyeliner. Let's see if we could make it more intense or something. Yes, it works. Now I'm going to remove uh, this. I'm going to take this under the lash line. Try to mix these two shades, this one here and this one. And I'm going to take this white Michelle and place it more on my eyebrows. So I'm going to fix my mascara or eyelashes and I'll be right back. So this is the final look. I hope you like it. Let's see. So that was the final look I hope you like it. I think uh, it turned gr out great. I'm very happy how it looks. Now this lipstick doesn't match with this makeup look but I kind of was looking at this lipstick and um, just wanted to have it on my lips so that's Makeup Revolution Amazing Lipsticks. Uh, I really like how this turned out and as I said before in the beginning of the video this, this is going to be the last makeup look inspired by flower in a long time so I'm kind of uh, sad about that but I'm definitely going to do more of these kind of videos soon. I will do my other makeup looks but not inspired by flower for a couple of weeks at least 
But if I miss it, I will, of course, be back with these kind of um, videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. See you in my next video. Bye!